Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for Leo. This is going to be for the second half of your November from the 16th to the 30th. You can apply this to any of your placements. We're going to take a look and see uh, what your over energies are, what's surrounding you guys uh, for the second half of the month. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own each situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Leo people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the, noti hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on uh, TikTok and on Instagram, um, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. Okay, so uh, so tell me about um, tell me about Leo. What's going on with Leo? Tell me about Leo. Energy checking for Leo. What's going on with Leo? Over energies for Leo for the, the second half of their November from the 16th to the 30th for Leo. Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Leo? I don't know. It seems like you're hitting the jackpot here. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just feel like you're just really clear about your career goals, your finances here. You know, I just feel like you guys are in this energy of really investing here, you know, thinking long term, putting money away and stuff like that. I feel like you just guys, you guys just have really big future plans for yourself here. And I feel like up until this point, you guys have achieved a lot. All right. So let's see what else we have. We've got the Knight of Wands here and the Star. Wow. You know, I do feel like you guys are definitely chasing your calling here. You got, you know, I, I just feel like you guys are really optimistic and hopeful about the future here. Yeah, I do feel like whatever you guys are setting your sights on, whatever you guys are putting your mind to, I do feel like you guys are just really going for it at this time here. Uh, you know, that star card could be a representation of someone here who's of service to others, gives back to others, innovates for society here. You know, that's a light worker card here too, okay? Maybe you guys, you guys are doing something along those lines of that. We have the Page of Pentacles here and the Seven of Cups. Wow. Lots of doors opening up for you here. Yeah, there really is. I feel like there's like new job opportunities. There's promotions here. I do feel like, you know, people are trying to poach you off LinkedIn or something like that. You know, Leo, I feel like you're like a major hot commodity. Like, I feel like people are turning to you for your skills. Maybe you guys have strong social media skills or something like that. You know, maybe there are people trying to hire you to do something along those lines, but you're making incredibly, incredibly good money. Some of you guys could be like social media influencers. Yeah. Tell me the seven of cups here. Seven of cups and the nine of wands. Tell me the page of pentacles and the queen of wands here. Aries and the Sagittarius energy. I do feel like you guys are overworked, but I feel like at the same time here, this is all worth it. But, you know, take care of yourself. That's really important too. Sometimes you do need a break. Sometimes you need rest here. You need sleep. Okay. You need some R&R &R time. You need to meditate. All right. So the queen of wands here uh, and the nine of wands. Tell me about the uh, star card here. We have the Six of Pentacles. Tell me about the Nine, uh, the 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 the, uh, the, uh, the Knight of Wands, and the World. Whatever you're doing here, I do feel like this is kind of like going worldwide in a way. You know, I, I you know you might have to do something over, along the lines of like, you know, doing uh, social media stuff about you know healing stuff. You know, maybe tarot. You know, maybe Reiki stuff. You know, whatever it is, it's like kind of like putting that information out there. All right, we have the world. We have the Six of Pentacles. I, I heard TikTok. Some of you guys might be really good on TikTok or something like that, or really good TikTok users. Okay, I mean, if any Leos are out there good at TikTok, help me with it. <laughs> I do have a lot of issues working it. Yeah, I, I, I still don't quite really know how it works. Yeah. So we have the Ten of Pentacles here. Ten of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups. Ten of the Ace of Swords. And the hangman. This is interesting. I, I feel like you guys are getting a lot of sponsors here. You know, uh, you know. I feel like you guys 
are doing it in a very, very, very effortless way. Like I said, I do feel like there are a lot of people coming to you for like help or for assistance here. Okay. So this is looking really good here for you, Leo. What else do we have for, for Leo? What else does Leo need to know? Look out for work on for the second half of their November from the 16th to 30th for Leo. For Leo. For Leo. All right, we have the Six of Swords. We have the Page of Wands, the Nine of Cups, Two of Wands, and the Seven of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Okay. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Six of Swords. Some of you guys moving forward, some of you guys could be getting a new offer here. I feel like if you get some of you guys are getting several offers when it comes to jobs here, but I do feel like the more offers that you're getting here, uh, you know, I do feel like some of you guys could be traveling here. Okay. I don't know. Some of you guys might do fashion here. I, I heard like Europe, Paris Fashion Week, New York Fashion Week. I mean, that's coming up like in 2024, I think in like February or something like that. Okay. Nine of Cups and a Two of Wands here. And a Seven of Wands and Eight of Cups. Okay. Very, you know, the field that you work in, Leo, it's really competitive. And I feel like it's important for you to surround yourself and not get too wrapped up in the competition here. I think, I feel like Leos are known to be very competitive. Some Leos, Eight of Cups, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, in the Sun. Wow. I do feel like whatever you're doing here, I feel like you're going to be incredibly successful here. I really do. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be so happy. And I feel like, you know, you've really done a lot to really overcome, persevere, you know. And I feel like you're really resilient too, Leo. You know, I just feel like you're just, your hard work is really paying off here. The two of wands, the hermit, Virgo energy. Yeah, Leo, it's really important to take time to yourself. Yeah, I do feel like some of you guys could be doing a lot here, okay? The Hermit, Virgo Energy. Take some time out for yourself to self-reflect, introspect, self, uh, and reflect here. The Nine of Cups, yeah. Um, you know, you guys might really burn out. I feel like some of you guys might have an accident here. Like, you guys might lose a footing and kind of, like, slip down a flight of stairs or something like that. So be careful. Some of you guys are really, really, some of you guys are really, really, really tired. Yeah, just exhausted. I also put your device down. I understand that. I kind of understand where you're coming from because the work that I do here, I'm on my devices all the time. So set some time aside during the day to set your device aside. You know, during lunchtime, during a little break, during a meditation, going on a walk at night, kind of, you know, disconnect here. Because I feel like some of you guys are constantly connected here. I'm talking about the Page of Wands. High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces. Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? And the Three of Wands. One of the things I'm getting here, I feel like you see this coming or that you know this is coming here too. Whatever you're doing here, I do feel like it's taking you really far. Yeah, I do feel like moving forward... Perhaps even, even towards the end of the year, you know, even into early 2024, I feel like you guys are going to be traveling a lot for work. Yeah, you guys are going to be traveling a lot. That's why, you know, I feel like it's important that, you know, you're kind of like in this like that fast paced situation here is to at least allocate some time for yourself to take care of yourself because burnout is real. You know, I do feel like some of you guys might be getting into like a little bit of a, of a minor accident. Like I feel like you might be so tired when you're going down the steps, you might miss the flight and then you just kind of like slip down, you know, you, you know, so just really be careful with that. Yeah, you guys are overwhelmed, really tired here, but whatever you're doing here, it's bringing you a lot of success here. You know, I feel like you're, you're able to put money away. You're able to save money. You're able to invest in stuff like that. That's a really good thing here because like I said, I do feel like, like the, I, I think early on, I do feel like there's a sense of like kind of like setting yourself up for the future here, you know, planning for the future. Okay. So Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.